Welcome back guys to Reading the Bible in a Year, and today we're going to talk about kind of a challenging topic, especially as someone who isn't a parent. But when is it okay to disobey your parents, and does that dishonor them? As you probably heard before, there's a very famous Bible verse that parents like to throw around that you should honor your father and mother. It's repeated multiple times throughout the Bible. But what does that practically mean? Like, if your parents are telling you to do something that is wrong or sinful, do you have to obey them? It's a big topic, and I want to cover it in today's study when we read about Jacob stealing Esau's blessing. Now, the backstory of this is Rebecca, when she was pregnant with her sons, you remember if you just read this, that they fought in the womb, and there was a prophecy that the younger would rule the older. So Jacob was prophesied to rule over Esau, but I think Rebecca kind of took this into her own hands to mean I need to make sure that Jacob is blessed more because I not only have had this prophecy about him, but I also love him more than my other son. So she encourages Jacob to steal something from his brother to the point of even Jacob, whose name is literally the deceiver, doesn't want to do it. He's questioning, what if I'm caught? What if this happens? And she's pushing him towards that conclusion. I think to honor your father and mother, you have to respect them, but you do not always need to obey them. If your father and mother are pushing you into sin, then you should disobey them, but in an honoring way where you're not mean, rude, but you are respectful. But Jacob could have here honored his mother by disobeying her and not stealing his brother's birthright. In the same way, let's say that you wanted to be a missionary and you felt like the Lord was calling you to be a missionary. He has implanted it on your heart. He has confirmed that calling through the scripture, through other people around you, through his spirit. Yet your parents tell you, no, we're not going to endorse you doing this. We don't want you doing this. We're going to be mean to you if you do this. You can honor your parents by following God and doing what he has commanded you to do. In the same way, we're supposed to give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Jesus talks about when it refers to governments. But we can dishonor the government if they're, for example, in China, commanding people not to share the gospel. They break the law by sharing the gospel with people. It's the same principle that applies here. If your parents are preventing you from living how God has called you to live, then you can disobey them but still honor them. Because at the end of the day, he's the most important one. But it takes two to tango. And Jacob does go in and steals his blessing from his brother. He actually takes it. And there's this big question that I ask of why would God honor this? Or why would Isaac honor this? And honestly, I don't have a great answer, so I'm not going to make one up. And I think that's part of trying to do a video every day about the Bible is I don't particularly have a ton of time to go deep in depth and study different types of topics. But then after Jacob steals his blessing, he flees and he runs to his uncle. And there he finds this beautiful girl that he falls in love with and he spends the next 14 years working for her. See, the, the birthright of Esau wasn't enough, so he stole his blessing. And then Leah wasn't enough, so he still went after Rebekah. And then Leah wasn't enough, so he still went after Rachel. And we start to see this theme that's going to carry out through Jacob's life for a few more chapters of always wanting something more. And that's actually what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. If you tune back in, we're going to be talking about when enough isn't enough and how God is actually supposed to fulfill us. If you haven't been with me so far, I am reading through the Bible every day for a year and posting a video about it. If you want to follow along, there's a link in the description where you can start the same Bible reading plan that I'm doing.